Jack had a coffee expert over. Now I'm going to show you two, vi not one, but two videos tonight in which people make a really, really strong argument in favor of just buying your coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, guys, so we are in my backyard and we're going to be doing what? We are going to be roasting a little bit of coffee from uh, Papua New Guinea today. Uh, let's see, parts and pieces. This is the drum roaster. I'll put the coffee into here and then place it into the roaster. And this is the chaff tray. This collects the, the skin of the yes. coffee as it roasts. So we'll, right. be, we'll be placing that. Oh. Wow, this sounds complicated. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my own version. Hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to get a cup of coffee. Are you ready? Yeah, hi, how you doing? Can I actually get a large uh, three creams, but just one sugar, please? And uh, I'll tell you what, while I'm here, throw a donut in the bag, too. Yeah, just whatever. You just pick one at random. That's fine. Okay, how much is that? Oh, okay, $3.56. Yeah, just use this. It's debit. Boom, done. You see that? You see how easy that was? It literally just took me 25 seconds to get a cup of coffee. The fuck are these guys doing? I've always despised these kinds of things. I've, I've always despised people that go, make your own coffee or do this or why don't you try that? Like, I don't mind learning a skill if it's like a skill like how to fix cars or how to repair a giant hole in drywall or something like that. That's a skill. How to run, you know, plumbing and stuff. That's a skill. But like when people like, white people replace skills with these little hobbies. Like, I like to do crafts, and it's like, oh, okay, that's that's fantastic. Yeah. It's my homemade cooling tray, because we're doing a dark roast. Can we say ghetto or not? I love it. I love it. You made that? I made that. It's a lot cheaper than trying to go out and buy one. Oh, yeah, buying those spinning trays that do all the cooling. No, that's just way too expensive. Yeah, yeah. Within the news. Can I say ghetto, like my weed-smoking fucking pothead son? People sort of brag about their homemade cooling. <laughs> so this works great. I just hook it up to the, the same shop vac that I use to clean up the mess. Right. So I get double usage out of it. Nice. Um, I found a By the way, Owen Tripley saying grind it French press, nothing better. I think a French press is a little annoying, personally. I think it's just too much work. But I agree with you on grinding it. But that's still not... That's not too much effort. That's just... You still just go buy beans. And then you grind them. By the way, freshly ground coffee is fucking dope. There is a difference between ground coffee and then like, you, you know, the, the freeze dried ground coffee, which kind of sucks. Like th that little, that little bit that you don't think matters, but that fresh grinding of the beans is fucking dank. It's so good. But the French and fresh prints, fresh French presses. I've had coffee from them. But they're just, it's just like, I just want to put it in a machine and let it fucking brew, please. But yeah, the, the grinding it yourself is what makes it. Uh, an inexpensive... But these idiots are making the beans. They're literally roasting the beans. Because why not? Because white people have too much time on their hands. Little colander. Right. I put it on there, and uh, you're good to go. Everybody now, can steal this idea if you want. This I, is a great setup. And I've left my wooden spoon at home, so we get to use this little miniature. Yeah, let's make our coffee on the ground, outside, between your fucking deck and your koi pond. That's really sanitary. The big it. Italian wooden spoon. <laughs> I love that. And then we can go rowing afterwards. <laughs> we got the pond right here. So. Exactly. None okay, of his so jokes land. Right now? No, we're going to... You want to pull the plug on the fountain or not? Yeah. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah. So we can hear everything you're saying and everything the machine's doing. The bottom one. There we go. The first crack, you will definitely know it. That'll pick it up without any trouble. Good. I want to get uh, in close. The second so crack is almost... The first one you can compare it to popcorn. Yeah. The second one is more like Rice Krispies. Oh, okay. So it's very faint. It's fainter and very rapid. It's okay. like you lit off wow. a firecrackers that... <laughs> All right, I can hear everything, so... By the way, get ready, because this guy knows way too much about coffee. It's kind of frightening. We're good. And as you can see inside... Well, I can see it's getting red. It's, yeah, it's, it's turning it's, night. It's by the way, night. another side note. Wait till you see this fucking coffee nerd's wife. 
wait until you see this fucking nerd's wife. I was enraged. He actually has a hot wife. Look at that. And those are your ceramic heaters. Right. And when your chaff hits those, it starts to smoke. Ah! Is this I've man a been touching that at home? Is this man a serial killer? And that that'll it's like a rotisserie. It basically is like a, a small rotisserie. As a matter of fact, a lot of people use, use their air fryer, huh? Use use a, their um, their grill with a rotisserie unit. My air fryer has a rotisserie basket just like that. He just pulled it out with his bare hands. Oh, there's your first prop. You hear? Yeah. Aaron Helton says, I could talk to this guy for hours. You'd fucking hate it. I, too, have a wife way too hot for me. No, 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 no. I, I get what you're saying, Aaron, but this guy's wife is hot. Like, your wife is probably too attractive for you, but this guy's wife's, like, attractive. <laughs> And what I've done is I've turned the heat down so it there is less heat going into this particular portion of the roast. Got it. And I'm gonna do that for a minute. And the the popping should stop when this is right around five minutes. Yeah, this guy has a so coffee long. notebook. We'll get a couple starting hours, around six. Starting about six. Yeah. Your first crack lasts for about 90 seconds, typically. Aaron says, joke's on you, my wife's your mother. Well, I am, I can say this, sir, I'm happy your wife is dead. Your wife's dead, and you deserve it. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, now I want to point out to you. But at this point, I've already finished my coffee. My my fictional coffee that I ordered, it's I've already got it, and I've already finished it, and I've already discarded it in the trash, and they're still setting a fire in their backyard. Coffee, please. So that's the beginning, which you started at, and then that's the dark roast. And does it really look darker than the rest? The dark yeah, roast looks and, darker. And next week we'll do the tasting. I'll put yeah. them side by side. I don't know if you can see it, but there is definitely an oily sheen. Yeah. There. Oh, guys, get ready for it. Get ready for. It. And by the way, this is, again, the most serial killer shit I've ever seen. So this guy does this whole coffee presentation for Jack. Now we're going to do coffee trivia. I, I, I would fucking kill myself. I, mean, it's just, I would. I would be like, like, if I were there and I would like, he's like, we just showed you how to roast beans. Now let's do coffee trivia. I'd be like, listen, all due respect. And I don't. I don't mean this. I don't mean this to be disrespectful in any way, and I mean this with all due respect. But if you keep talking, I'm going to kill myself. I need you to stop. <laughs> I need you to shut up. <laughs> this is this is the equivalent of being around Bobo back at back in the heyday of Opie and Anthony when they were just fucking <laughs> when when he just ever anytime you'd see Bobo it was fucking an hour of Opie and Anthony talking. You're like, I don't care. I just don't care. It's good for them. <laughs> Now, a light roast, what a light roast really is going to show you more of is where now, the bean is from, where it's grown. You see what I told, what did I tell you? 
What did I tell you? How? 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 How is this possible? How is this possible? How is Coffee Nerd smashing this? Was this an immigration issue? Or was this a fucking... By the way, Sam Law's saying she's okay. Look at him. Okay? Look at fucking Dwayne Allman over here. And look at her. Look at look at coffee. Look at look at fucking coffee guy who looks like one of the Almond brothers. And look at her. Um let me see here. That can't be his wife. That has to be his daughter. Maybe it's his daughter. I don't know. I wanna get wh- whoever she is, I wanna as they said in the wire, I wanna throw a fuck into her. Um, what altitude it's grown, what country it's grown, the dirt that it's grown in. It's gonna give you more of the flavor of what the bean is. As we approach the dark roast, we're going to lose the locality of the bean, but we're going to gain ionization, <sighs> chocolate, uh, a little bit more sugar has come out until we okay. hit the second crack. Are we going to have that coffee anytime soon? Because you're putting me to sleep, sir. And by the time you hit the second crack, you're going to pretty much lose the original flavors of the bean or where it's from. From second crack on, it loses those, and it... You've lost all of us at the table. Yeah, but I like it. I'm, it's almost cool. It's yeah. not what it starts at. It's what it ends up in. By the way, I will say this. There's a couple people in the chat that are going, she's not hot, she's not good looking. Let me tell you something. I'll put fucking... I'll put 20 bucks cash against all you guys, individually, every single one of you. I want to see a picture of the last fucking monster you slid your dick into.